Being a foster parent has its challenges, but the challenges are worth it knowing that that child has a safe place in our home where they can be loved and nurtured. My name is Amy Lynn Titus and I am a foster parent with NECO. Knowing that this child is in our home being loved on and provided for allows the biological parents to work on what they need to work on and take the steps that they need to take in order to adequately parent their child when they're able to return home. I want to be a foster parent because there are so many children in this town um, who need loving homes and safe places to stay while their parents are unable to parent. I'm Jay Houston. I'm the foster parent recruiter here at NECO. Basically my job is to talk to people about becoming a foster parent and help them through that process. I'm a mom of six children. I have um, a three-year-old, a seven, eight, nine, ten, and fourteen-year-old. So many people have asked me why we chose to do foster care and adoption when we are able to have biological children. And for me, that question always seems so foreign because I was adopted and because my mother never loved me any differently than she did the children that she had biologically. Um, and in, in turn, I don't love my adopted children any differently than I love my biological children. It's just the same. It doesn't matter how children come to you. When they get to you, they're yours. For me, you don't have to match to be a family. You don't have to be biologically related to someone to be a family. You don't have to even enjoy the same things to be a family. That's what makes families beautiful is that you can love each other no matter what, no matter what you're interested in, no matter what you look like, no matter where you came from. None of that matters. Family is just love and love holds a family together. Um, my name is LaShonda Kitchens. I am the Home Resource Coordinator here at NECO. Um, so as a Home Resource Coordinator, I'm responsible for the certification and recertification of our current foster parents. I was a foster child um, myself, and I was emancipated when I was 17, so I've always had a love for human services and just helping people. The most rewarding part of my job is being able to place children in safe, loving foster homes where they can thrive and they can eventually be reunified back with their birth families, but where they're safe and loved in the process. Um, but for those children also, to also be placed in their counties, in you know, their neighborhoods, in their schools, where they you know are familiar with. There are over 500 foster kids in this area in foster care. Um, there are approximately 100 to 125 foster homes in this area. So the need is enormous. We need more foster homes in this area so that we can place those kids in this area um, in those homes. Because there are not um, a lot of foster homes in this area, most of our children are displaced. They're placed all over the, the state of Georgia. So if children are not placed in their counties because of the lack of foster homes, they are having to be placed all over the state in unfamiliar homes, unfamiliar counties, in schools, in neighborhoods with people that they don't know. So that's why the need to open more foster homes in this area is so enormous because we want to be able to keep our kids in this area. If you're interested in being a foster parent with NECO, I can walk you through the process. You can contact us um, via phone, email, you can check us out on our website, you can do the inquiry there. Um, but it's a very easy process. We hold your hand through the entire thing and we would love to partner with you to help these children and help bring them home.